Those we all, we're almost done last time. We're going to move on a little bit, switch gears. We're going to get away from addition subtraction for just a little while. We'll come back to it at the end of this section. But for right now, we're going to start, if you're keeping track, on section 1.4. We're going to talk about how to round, like rounding numbers. Now, you're probably wondering, why in the world do we round numbers in the first place? Well, sometimes we don't need to be as specific or precise for certain instances. Like, if I, let's go back to the baseboard example again. Do I need to go up to Home Depot and say, I need precisely 18.3846273 feet of baseboards? Do I need to be that exact? Probably just need to go, yeah, I need 17 feet or 18 feet. I'll cut off a little bit. Does that make sense to you? So I'm, I'm rounding there. I'm not going to use the exact amount I need right at that moment. Later on, yeah, I'm going I'm to use that. But not right when I go into Home Depot. We, we round all the time. What I want to make sure is that you are rounding appropriately. You see, rounding in mathematics is quite important because if we round incorrectly, our final answer is going to be way off, especially when you get higher into mathematics. Because here, right now, for, for here, we pretty much just have one-step problems right now. Or we have, you're just rounding. But in the future, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be rounding and then using that number. And then rounding and using that number again. So if you're incorrect in your rounding, do you see how your problem or your error multiplies itself? You're going to be way off at the end. This is especially true of statistics. How many people know they have to take statistics? If you are going to transfer, you have to take statistics. Did you know that? So if you plan on transferring, you're going to be taking statistics at some time. If not, it's a great class for you to take. It's all about uh, things that we use every day, like polls. Not like, not like polls, but like, what do you think about this? You know, you see those on the news all the time. Uh, it, we talk about that in statistics. So if, you, if you're going to take that class, rounding is a big part of that. So I'm going to make sure we know how to round correctly because we'll be using it in this class and future classes. So if you keep a track, 1.4, we're going to talk about rounding and estimating. So rounding is really a way to approximate a number. We're just taking it down a notch because we don't have to be as precise as uh, in certain situations. So let's see if we can round this number to the nearest 10,000. That when they say the nearest something, that means you're going to round to that place value. Remember talking about place values yesterday? Remember that? Yes, no? Yeah. Okay, no. tell me real quick, what is the eight's place value up here? What is the five's place value? Ten. How about the two? Great, okay, we're going to round to the 10,000 here. Round this number to the nearest. That right there says you're rounding 10,000. That tells you what you're rounding to, what place value you're rounding to. Now typically what I do when I, when I teach something that involves steps, I'll give you the steps off to the side so you can go back and kind of follow along and figure out what you did. So here's our steps on how to round. The first thing you're going to do, and this is why we had to be very good at place value, I want you to go, go back and underline the place value that you're dealing with. So in our case, when it says you're going to round to the nearest 10,000, go back to that number, just put a little underline under the 10,000th place, okay? So go ahead and try that on your paper now. I'll do it on the board in just a second. So underline the 10,000th. What number is in the 10,000th place? Seven. Okay. Bam, so we got that right there. So underline the, the place value. The next thing you're going to do, this is the important part, this is where people get kind of screwed up sometimes in rounding. You're going to look at the digit just to the right of the place value underlined. Not further than that. You're going to look just at the digit to the right. I'm not talking about all this junk over here. 
If you're rounding to this place value, you're looking just at the 8. You don't even care about what these numbers are. Are you following me on this? Not your head if you're following me on that. These are going to have no bearing whatsoever on your rounding here. You with me? Okay, so we're going to look at the place value just to the right. And here's how we use that information. We look at that place value to the right, and we compare it to the number 5. If it's 5 or higher, we're going to round the place value up. If it's lower than 5, that's like 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we're going to leave that place value alone. So when we look over here, we're going to look at this digit. If this is 5 or more, we raise our place value up 1. If this is less than 5, we leave this place value alone. In either case, we follow this place value with all zeros. We don't have any more numbers after that. You still okay? So let me write that all out for you and then we'll do it. So we're underlining the place value. We're looking at the place value just to the right of that. If that digit, <coughs> if the digit to the right is five or more, we raise our place value by one. If the digit to the right is five or more, we're going to raise our place value one unit. If the digit to the right is less than 5, we leave that place value alone. However, in either case, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the place value with all zeros. That's what rounding does. It says these numbers, we just want to find out the nearest 10,000. We don't really care so much about the specifics. Um, this would be, this happens a lot in business, like when you're talking, talking deals and some guy goes, okay, well, what was your profit last year? And you go, oh, my profit was uh, 3,861,254. Well, they don't really care about the whole 2054 thing, right? They want to know you earned $3.8 million. Isn't that about right? They really don't care about the, the pennies at the very end of that. Rounding happens all the time. We just need to how to do it appropriately. <clears throat> so after all this, in either case, we're going to follow the, the, uh, the place value with zeros. In either case, Replace the digits to the right of the place value with zeros. Okay, let's give this a try for real then. So we've already underlined the place value, that's a 10,000. We look to the digit to the right. If it's five or more, raise it up. If it's less than five, we leave it alone. Are we gonna raise this seven up or not? What do you think? Yeah, why? 
Okay, so we don't look left, we look right. This is more than five, so we're going to, does the two stay the same? Yeah. Yes. What's the next digit I'm gonna write? Eight. How about after that? Zero. Zero. All zeros, just for the rest of it. And that's appropriately rounded. We're gonna try a whole bunch more rounding. I'm gonna give you most of it to do on your own. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a few together. They'll have you practice. Let's round these numbers to the nearest 10. We'll do 641 and 3,465. So the first thing we're looking for in this number is where is the nearest 10? What's the place value that's in the 10? What digit are we looking at here? Four. Four. Are we going to leave that 4 alone or are we going to raise that 4 up? What do you think? Yeah. Why are we going to leave it alone? It's one less than 5. Okay. So tell me exactly what I need to write. 644. Good. The 6 stays the same. The 4 in this case stays the same. Perfect. Exactly right. Next one. We're still looking at the 10s. That means in our case we're looking at the 6. Are we moving that 6 up or are we leaving that 6 alone? Yeah. The 5 says move it up. So we'll have the 3. No problem. The 4. The six is going to go to, and then we follow it with zeros. How about we do to the nearest, let's try a couple of the thousands. Actually, why don't you give these a try? Try them on your own. I'm going to race to the other side of the board. Do these ones, uh, identify the appropriate place value, see if it's good, if the place value is moving up or down by looking to the digit to the right, and then re replace all those digits with zeros when you're done. some other ones. Let's do some hundreds. If you're done with those already, give these a try and then we'll I'll show you one error that a lot of people make and we'll move on to estimate. If you do need any help, you just let me know. The one on the right is hundreds, yeah. 